All right, drivers, welcome back. And in this clip right here, we see a whole UPS truck getting burglarized in broad daylight. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. Listen here, let me tell you guys something, right? I used to have a bad habit of not locking my truck doors. And yes, your your boy, yes, your boy was caught sleeping. We was in the parking lot and the truck broke down. And what I was doing was transferring my stuff to a different truck because my company sent a tow truck with a truck to give to me while they come and get my truck. So in the midst of doing everything, of course, I, I took everything out of my one truck and I put it into my new truck. But me not thinking, I put my computer bag, I call it my gear bag. And that was the gear bag that had like cameras, GoPros. It had my, my first Predator computer that I paid over $4,000 for, uh, memory cards, memory sticks, cords, cables, and all sorts of stuff, right? And it had like all of the, all of the podcast episodes that I did on those memory cards. So I'm talking with the tow truck driver to get everything settled, but I'm on the other side of the truck talking to the tow truck driver. Next thing I know, somebody rolls up, snatch my gear bag out of the out of the truck, and the car behind them blow. They get my attention. I happen to look up and the other car zoom, already gone. You know, I ain't, ain't give me a chance to jump in, catch up, and the guy in the car was like, hey, bud, somebody somebody snatched something out of the truck. And I ran back over the truck. And of course, to my to my disappointment, they they got away with my gear bag, which was worth with all the items, including the computer, close to like nine thousand dollars, ten thousand dollars worth of gear. And uh, and yeah, man, I I was I was living. You, you, I, I was living. Luckily, I had insurance, but insurance didn't even cover as close as what was taken. And I was like, oh my God. I'd say it was over $10,000, but the insurance only covered like $4,000 of it. So, with the help of my son at the time, I was able to get the essentials back so that I can continue my channel and everything. So, I was able to get another computer, another camera, a couple of uh, SSD drives, and that was it. Uh, everything else, everything else manufactured throughout the years. So 
Here's a lesson that you drivers need to learn. If you drivers get out of the truck, make sure you lock them doors, man. No matter where you at, you could be in the fuel island because I know a lot of you in the fuel island just shut the door, run in right quick, grab your uh, fuel ticket and run right back out. But it only takes a minute, as you guys could see. As you guys could see in the clip, it only took a minute for them to run up and and snatch some packages and everything like that and then just run out now i i don't know if if this young driver is gonna face any type of consequences but just know next time he's gonna he's gonna know to you know lock up his his vehicle them ups trucks you can slide those sliding doors right there but there is another door if i'm not mistaken is there another door I don't think it's another door that's that goes from the front to the back. I don't think there was a door right there. I think there probably might be a door on other vehicles like that, but I, I don't know it's about a UPS. If any UPS drivers drive for UPS, let us know in the comments below if there's like a sliding door that that's right there that's leading to the back and does it lock, but I know now, I know you guys now, I know he's now feeling some kind of way. Of course, the packages, of course, that was taken, you know, they, they are insured. It's just, it just put a hamper on the people that was supposed to get whatever they was getting today. It's unfortunate that this young driver right here was a victim of a, a blatant daylight burglary. Hopefully the car backed up to the back of the truck and the camera was able to get the uh, back of the car hopefully they can zoom in to the license plates and catch the culprit uh in too deep like omar make me want to track you down and hit the track off with the crowbar i knew we wouldn't go far like we ran out of ethanol now your nosy ass mama want to get involved when i met you you was on the couch with the plastic she need an emmy bitch so dramatic now your baggage got me on edge like jagged fucking up my homes look patrick you swift to jump shift like a chief they crying on my line like Therese, but it ain't all you, it's me. Blaming on the things I went through.